The countdown has begun and all eyes are on what's really going to happen at four minutes past six today when Chandrayaan 3 is going to make a soft landing on the dark side of the moon. So what really happens then? How is India going to make an imprint? Let's talk about the Pragyan rover, which of course is all set to demonstrate really for India on moon other than the scientific imprint that ISRO is going to make, there's also going to be the uh, Ashoka symbol on the moon that uh, India is going to imprint to give then an idea to the world about who really first landed on the dark side or the south pole of the moon. Vikram will prepare for rover Pragyan to carry out its mission right after the successful landing on the south pole of the moon. The rover will then conduct in situ chemical analysis of the lunar surface. As it starts to move, it will leave an indelible mark of India on the lunar surface. The back wheels of the rover have logos of ISRO and Ashoka's line emblem. They are not on the same wheels. So the two parallel imprints on one side will create the ISRO logo and the other will mark the Ashoka's line emblem. India has already left its mark on the moon during the Chandrayaan-1 mission in 2008. On 14 November 2008, the moon impact probe separated from the Chandrayaan-1 orbiter and struck the South Pole in a controlled manner. And with that, India became the fourth country to place its flag insignia on the moon, near the crater Shackleton. The location of impact was named Jawahar Point. Nearly 15 years later, Pragyan, with a lifespan of one lunar day or 14 Earth days, is all set for a much bigger leap. With 26 kilogram mass, 50 watt power, and two payloads. It will make history for ISRO by demonstrating a rover roving on lunar surface, carrying out qualitative and quantitative elemental analysis to derive the chemical composition. In for mineralogical composition of the South Pole lunar surface. This is critical for mineral and chemical finding, as well as for ISRO's future manned moon mission, Gaganyaan.